Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Ross Everett. I'm Nee Luton. Mmm, close. While some states have been passing laws to promote gay rights, Arizona is one of the few still avidly working to take them away. Whoa! Hey guys, stick around to the end of the story for an update on this story. But marriage isn't the biggest gay right on their chopping block. No, Arizona is working hard to keep those gay dollars far and away from their religiously pure businesses. What? Yeah, Lee, haven't you heard? Apparently accepting money that's been passed through the hands of homosexuals is inherently bad for the moral standing of your business. If a company were to take too much of it, they risk losing the grace of God, or worse yet, experiencing a profit. The measure passed through the State House last Thursday and currently sits on the desk of Arizona Governor Jan Brewer, who is being urged to veto the bill, not just by Arizona's U.S. Senator John John McCain and Jeff Flake, but also by three state senators who voted for the bill in the first place. Which I like to think went a lot like this, uh, what have we done? No shirts, no straight, no service, Lee. It's written plain and simple right there in my interpretation of the Bible's loosely worded phrases. And the opposition doesn't stop with the politicians as companies based out of Arizona have started to raise their concerns that the new discrimination laws would be uh, bad for business. So a few people won't shop at these stores. That's the point. Upstanding religious business owners don't want the likes of those people as as customers anyway. Now Apple is throwing their voice into the discussion, urging Jan Brewer to veto the bill, and they might have a little bit of clout as their plans for Apple to build a sapphire glass plant in Mesa, Arizona would bring 2,000 jobs to the state. However, the pro-business climate that Arizona boasts to have might be taking a backward step in the eyes of Apple should this bill pass. Threatening to take your business elsewhere based on a differing set of beliefs, Apple? Sounds pretty hypocritical to me. There's also no telling what drawbacks companies that choose to ban sales to homosexuals as permitted by the new bill will face as there could be bad press, vandalism, or even boycotts from their usual customers. How dare they? What my company does in the privacy of my own store is my business and no one else's. A group of people shouldn't be able to discriminate against my company based on my discrimination based on my religious beliefs. That's un-American. Oh. So what do you think about businesses' right to discriminate based on religious beliefs? Let us know in the comment section down below. Unless you're gay. <sighs> Quick update on the situation as Jan Brewer announced publicly that she had vetoed the bill because it has the potential to create more problems than it's purported to solve. So that's no longer a thing to worry about. Seeing as how this had nothing to do with religious freedom in the first place, it would appear that our system, while still very, very broken, still kind of almost works sometimes. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry. I apologize. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click this annotation for all your news about Arizona legislature. I am Lee Newton. I'm Ross Everett, and this has been a lesson in satire. Yeah.